Hello everybody. This is DJ with One Time Outdoors. I hope everyone is doing well. I <clears throat> I am doing good. I wanted to do a kind of review on this tactical saw. I mean shovel. I'm sorry. I actually got this from Amazon probably almost a year ago now. Um, it's been a while. I've never used it. And I figured I would put it together and use it and see how it is for the first time on camera. <laughs> So it's just been sitting here and never used. So it comes it comes in this bag, has a little shoulder strap. Um, it's only got a single stitch holding this, which feels like very cheap plastic uh, strap together. Um, it does come off and it has a, I guess, spot for you to put it in your belt or pack or whatever. Um, so this is the, the shovel and it has its own little case. Um, the shovel also has a bunch of different uses. This is a straight edge with a ruler. I don't know if you'll be able to see that on film or not. And then this is, I don't know if it's, I'm, it looks like a, serrate, a serrated blade or maybe a saw. And then a rope cutter, I'm guessing. And maybe a bottle opener. And then this is for, you know, bolts, like a hex head. Um, and then, no, this isn't sharp on here. So this is actually really nice. This is aircraft aluminum and stainless steel, or supposed to be stainless steel, but it actually looks like it's got a little bit of rust. And that's, unfortunately, with me living in the tent, you know, with the moisture and all, it uh, isn't good, <laughs> but... And this is actually multiple adjustable too. So, you know, you have your shovel. And see, it's flat here and on this end. So you could make it like a, a pickaxe, I guess. And then <clears throat> you have, you know, each little attachment. That has different tools inside of it. But I'll, I'll show you in a second. Oh, and I also put a couple Ziploc bags and a piece of aluminum foil and some band-aids in this as well. And I thought there was like a water purification tablet in there as well, just in case. <laughs> but 
what I did was I actually numbered with glow in the dark paint uh, on this so that way I know easily how they go into each other so we'll start with number one this has a glass break on it and I believe that's it And then number two, number two has a, like a wood saw, another straight edge, and I'm guessing a bottle opener. <clears throat> and then this, which I'm not too sure if this is anything in particular or if it's just the the the, the, the design and this can be flipped around and screwed in this way give me a second i'll get a piece of Okay, so I was saying I was getting a piece of wood to try and test this out. So I just got a branch. I should have probably got a, <laughs> a smaller one, but just a couple you know strokes and it actually you know didn't work too bad um, so you can definitely use it for notching or you know if you had to saw through a limb you know a branch or something you definitely could fairly easy at that okay so that's that um, <laughs> well, it's actually not too bad, the the blade on it, and this is really dry wood. So, yeah, you know, so far, um, you know, it's not bad at all. And I've seen some of these saws go, f you know, for a cheap couple bucks, to you know 100 plus bucks i'm not a hundred percent sure but i want to say i got that for like 50 bucks on amazon uh last almost it's almost been a year almost okay so Now put number two on. Oh, and they also have little washers. So when, I guess when you close it, you know, it uh, is nice and snug. 
and then this is the third point third uh, piece and this has a flathead screwdriver and you and then it also has a Phillips It has a compass on the top. And a little um a little ferro rod. On my keys I keep a little striker. Or little, this is a little ferro rod too. Yeah, the ferro rod, and then a little striker. I mean, you can, it's not the best, but you can definitely use it to start a fire if you had to. I guess you're supposed to leave this attached. There we go. Yeah, you have to leave that little saw and attached so that way you can screw the last piece on because of the bit for the screwdriver. So, I don't know, that's about maybe two, two foot, a foot and a half, I don't know. Give me a second and I'll measure it. Okay, so I went and got a tape measure, and from point to handle, it is just under two feet. It is... One foot, 20, 22 inches. So one foot, 10 inches. Um, now from tip to you know, handle, let's see what it is. Twenty nine inches. So let's test this puppy out. Um, let me get some cordage to cut with that serration serrated. Okay, so I'm actually I don't have any paracord at the moment. It's kind of all my paracords actually in use as clotheslines and I'm using it to hang my hammock but I do have this like uh, 
you know, fibrous twine almost. I guess that's what it would be called, twine. So let me, first let's try, you know, this end. Not bad. Actually, the actual rope cutter. It's cutting it, but like strand by strand. <laughs> Try the serration. I mean, it it all works, but it's you know not the sharpest. The good thing is, you can also buy attachments for the shovel itself. So, if, if you wanted the shovel to be longer, you could just buy extra attachments and, you know, make it longer. But, let's dig a hole. <laughs> um... So I come over over here. This is that's the you know the big tent and then my backpacking tent. So right here I'm gonna set this down. Make sure I'm in frame and see how easy. Well it definitely cuts in nice. Then again it is a brand new shovel, so And I like you can actually feel like a root or something in there that it just you know went right through. I mean, granted, it's it was a little root, but it went right through it. Yeah, I mean, it It works great as a shovel, <laughs> but, you know, I kind of figured it would. Um, here's a little stick. Let me try chopping. So it actually surprisingly chopped really well. I was, um, I'm shocked that it, uh, you know, chopped so well. Hopefully that was in frame and all. Sorry that, you know, I'm not professional and I don't know how to edit and add, you know, text in the videos, but I am trying um, but thank yous all for watching. I definitely like this shovel multi-tool. Um, I'm not sure the exact weight, but I, I would say no more than three pounds. Um, I like it. I, I really do. I'm, I kind of wish I would have used it a lot sooner than now <laughs> it definitely would have made a lot of things easier for me especially living out in the woods but yeah so thank you all for watching um if you have any questions or comments you know write them down below and i will 
answer them as best I can. Um, like I said, I got this from Amazon, and it was no more than, say, $65 shipped. There's a bunch of different ones, so be careful. This one is made out of uh, stainless steel and aircraft aluminum. And it, it definitely feels completely solid. Um, yeah. So I'm satisfied with it. Uh, it also works as a, a throwing uh, shovel. <laughs> but um, thank you all and have a blessed day. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. God bless you.